Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemsville and today we're going to take a look at how we can get more simoleons in The Sims Mobile. Simoleons are used for so many things within the game. They are used for unlocking new places of work for your sims to go to. You can buy new clothes, shoes, accessories and even hairstyles for your sims with simoleons. It is used to expand the land where you can build your house. And it is of course used to buy items of furniture to place in your house. So they are very important within the game and of course we want to know how to make as many as we can as quickly as can so we can buy as much stuff as we can. Before we get into the tips and tricks of how to get more simoleons, my friend code is on the screen now if you want to send me a friend invitation by all means go ahead and do that. I should say there is no hacking and cheating involved with these tips. I know there are a lot of people who are hacking their game to get more simoleons and I don't really believe in that personally. I like to just do what I can within the game to earn as much as I can. So if that's the type of video you're looking for, this one is not for you. This is all kind of legitimate ways in which to get more simoleons. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure you work on your daily to-do list. And this may seem really simple, but I think a lot of people don't tend to do it. You can see here that from your daily to-do list, there are quite a few things where you will get some simoleons. And it doesn't seem like much. Quite a lot of these things we may look through and you think, oh, it's only 40 simoleons. It's only 105 simoleons. But all of those things really do add up. And it ends up that each day you earn quite a substantial amount of simoleons. So for your daily to-do list, you can see that you get 105 by completing two relationship or family events. So with a family member or someone that you're working with, a flirty relationship or a friendly relationship or even a confrontational relationship, complete two of those events each day and you will get this 105 simoleons for completing that. We have this improve your lifestyle where you get 40 simoleons. Go into the store, buy something cheap that you're going to want anyway and you will get 40 simoleons for doing that and then also you get just by changing a sims look you'll get 35 simoleons so you can just go into the wardrobe which quite often i do if i like how my sim is looking i don't really want them to change so actually i quite like her look at the moment lexi's and i don't want to change how she looks you can change her shoes if you want and then just change them back just stick some shoes on her go back collect the reward and then come back in and change it back. You don't have to keep that look. I can't remember what she had on. Did she have these on? Yeah, she had those on. Yes, you don't have to keep the look, just come in. Or you can just maybe add a bracelet or something if you wanted to just add a bracelet and then go back out. You don't have to drastically change their look in order to get that reward. Definitely make sure you're completing your daily to-do list every day. You'll get 180 simoleons by doing that each day which doesn't sound like much but you know over a few days it just like i said it just all adds up the next tip is to do shorter tasks more often if you can so we have lexi here who is working on her medical career she's doing really well she's up to level nine so far and if we click on you can see to work a quick shift she will earn 112 simoleons now just on average i know we can shorten the amount of time for a shift depending upon various different items or traits that a sim may have but a quick shift is around an hour a standard shift is maybe three four hours a long shift around eight hours so you can see just by looking at how many simoleons you're going to get with a quick shift you're going to get 112 for one hour a standard shift, you're going to get 225 simoleons for maybe three, four hours. And a long shift for like an eight hour, seven hour, eight hour, you're only going to get 270 simoleons. So if you can work quick shifts per hour, you're going to get more simoleons working quick shifts over and over again. Now, obviously, that is only if you can access your game. Let's go ahead and we'll start this. So see, this is going to take her 52 minutes and 9 seconds for various different reasons. And we will get her started on that. But if, so if you can access your game every hour, then absolutely get your sims doing the shorter tasks. You will earn so many more simoleons per hour. Kind of going along with that and completing tasks is being confident within a task. So these little stars with a little sunshine, smiley, happy face on them means that you there's a there's a confident act there's a confident action within there so if you click on it 
you can see there's a risk factor with completing that. Now, I would suggest never bother doing those at that sort of level. If it's at that level, don't do it. Come out of it and just do other tasks. And when they become really super confident, that's when the bar is all the way along in the green. So it says now I'm confident. So let's go ahead and have a look. So that to me is when I would, the least I would do. I don't think I've ever seen it any further up than that, to be quite honest. You don't want to be doing these risky tasks and fail on them. If you stumble, you don't get much time taken off, which is of course not what you want. You want to take as much time off the task time as you can. I think this is, oh, I thought I was going to fail then. No, so you can see it, that's 39 minutes on the task at the moment. If we complete that, See, that one's gone down to 32, so that's taken off seven minutes by doing that. So that's really good. You definitely don't want to be failing those, and there is more of a chance to fail those riskies if the bar is further the way down. So I would just say it's not even worth trying to complete it. Just keep going on with the other ones. It's just not worth the risk, in my opinion. Whilst you are doing tasks, you will obviously run out of energy. We can see now that she only has one energy left. Is Oh, we can do, we can toss boring mail for one energy. Now she has no energy, so we could use a cupcake. I do have some cupcakes. If we have a look here, you can see I have 31 cupcakes. You win cupcakes by completing all of your daily to-dos. So again, that's another reason to complete your daily to-dos. But you can also gain energy by using objects in the house. The objects that I currently have are the toilet. So you can see I'm get, going to get three energy from using the toilet. And you can increase the amount of energy that you get. So by adding the toilet roll holder, it has increased the amount of energy that she's going to get. I can also use the shower and get five energy. You can use a bath as well, but I haven't got a bath in my house. When a sim uses the bed, they get 19 energy, which is amazing. So I always make sure that I put a sim to use the bed when they can. There is a cool down time on all of these items. The bed, I think, is 19 hours. The toilet is two hours and the shower is five hours. But definitely, they're just little bits of extra energy that can speed up your tasks. And then in speeding up your tasks, you're going to speed up how many simoleons you're able to get. Another good way of speeding up your task, which in turn is going to give you more simoleons, is if you just go over to a workplace and go into the build mode. So I'm at the hospital, so depending on where you will go, you'll get different ones. But I have medical career and medical centre decorations. There's medical centre decorations, cost simoleons, they are purely just decorative. But in the medical career, or the any career, whichever workplace you are going to, you will see that there will be items there. And yes, these cost simoleons and tickets, or as you can see, some of them even cost sim cash. The skeleton is 180 simoleons. I will go and place this now. We get a head start in the medical event. So let's go and place the skeleton in there. So you kind of have to invest a little bit of simoleons in order to get some back and you choose how much you want to. If all you want to do is just place that skelly the skeleton down, by all means that's all you need to do. But if you want to place the cardiology treadmill, which is 1,000 simoleons, you can place that down as well and you will just get more of a head start. By head start, what I mean is that when you start the task, it may be that it is an hour to start with, but if you place these items down, it may knock off five minutes. And that again, doesn't seem like a lot, but if each time you're doing the task, you've got a little bit of time knocked off, it all adds up and which means you can earn more simoleons. We have Ash over here who has just finished a quick shift over at the restaurant and you can see that he has earned 112 simoleons we'll go ahead and we'll collect those rewards there going back to the timings of the quest if we take a look at these ones here so we have the quick the standard and the long we've said that the quick shifts are better and of course they are better per hour but it doesn't make any sense if i couldn't get on my game if i was going to bed right now or if i was going to work and couldn't get on the game it would make no sense to me to do a quick shift with him because I can't get on the game for maybe six hours or so the best thing to do is to put him into a long shift he will get more simoleons and time is better spent doing that so think about when the next time it is that you may be able to get on the game if you are going to be able to get on the game 
for all day. If it's a Saturday and you're not really doing anything and you're going to be able to get on the game whenever you kind of want, do those quick shifts. If that's not the case, do the longer shifts. Another thing you can do is when you are picking traits for your sim, you can pick one that will give you more money. So we can see for Tommy here, he has got the generous trait, which means that every day you log in, he is going to give you slightly better login rewards, which that could be more simoleons, it could be different thing. It could be that it is sim cash or XP, but it could be that he gives you more simoleons. So yeah, maybe do a generous trait. You could also choose the pickpocket trait, where you'll sneak a few extra simoleons from other people every now and then, which I think is an amazing trait. Let's go ahead and we'll pick that for Tommy. So he will just pick up some extra simoleons along the way. Lexi has completed her event, so we can now collect her 112 simoleons. Just ignore these ASOS tokens. If you're watching this video sometime in the future, we're in an event at the moment. We won't normally be getting those ASOS tokens. It's just a limited time event that we have right now. So she's completed that event. We will set her off. I don't know why her icon head is showing as Tommy. If you look down there, something's going a little bit wrong there. But we'll put her back in to work a quick shift. And it is slightly quicker. I think, I can't remember how much it was before, before we put that skeleton in. But it's slightly quicker because we have that skeleton in now. I wish it wasn't showing as Tommy. That's freaking me out. Another thing that you can do is to complete quests. So just above your to-do list, over on the right, you'll have a quest list. where This is where quests and events are shown. And you will get tons of quests. And generally, you kind of just complete them by playing the game. You don't necessarily have to be very conscious of them. But I only have three right now. You will see that I will get, if I complete a career story, I will get 50 simoleons if i start a new relationship i'll get 25 simoleons and in the past there's been a ton of quests here where we've got a lot of simoleons from so definitely just pay attention to these and if there's something that you can do to get the money go ahead and do those quests the last little thing that i would say is this little play button here this is available in all the places in downtown at the market and at your home if you click on it you will be able to watch an ad and whilst they're kind of annoying, this is kind of how free games go these days. And I kind of accepted it. I don't mind, to be honest, sticking an add-on for 30 seconds. And you can win various different things. Sometimes you will win simoleons. So let's watch this video ad. I just finished watching that ad. And oh, there we go. So we have got simoleons for that one. We've got 75 simoleons, which is fantastic. But I probably watch around at least sort of five, six ads every day on this and definitely i have increased my xp simoleons kind of everything just from watching the ads and like 30 seconds it's no real big drama out of your life to get a little bit of extra simoleons in my opinion so there you go they are my tips for earning more simoleons if you have got any others please leave them down below in the comments i would love to hear your thoughts on how you get more simoleons in the game it's definitely something that i complain about a lot that i haven't got enough simoleons to do what i want to do with i just wanted to share with you the simple things that i do within the game that maybe you are missing out on that definitely increase my simoleon total albeit relatively slowly <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I post loads of Sims Free Play, Sims Mobile, generally Sims stuff here. And I would love to have you over here as a subscriber. I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.